<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, another stream uh, of Goosebumps. Covering this for the month of spoops. Scaretober. Nopetober. Horror month. Whatever the hell you want to call it. We're just playing scary games just like everyone else this month. Um, so, I think in the, yeah, the last stream, we... We're able to get through the house. We the the ghost kids were all satisfied and all that, and now we are at the mall because apparently that's where slapping the other goosebumps uh, monsters are at. I guess. So let's see how this goes. Like we just got away from the the people. <laughs> I got away from the people. I got away from the. Um, gnomes so now we're like here these decorative plants don't provide enough cover to hide from the security guard of course they don't this directory lists all the shops in the mall as well as the pay phones near the restrooms and the food courts which I didn't get a chance to really do anything with because I got killed this is the uh, smaller mall version of the local movie theater man you know, that is something I actually don't have anymore. Like, well, first off, the mall that we have here is, like, complete, like, ghost town, pretty much. Um, but at the same time, like, be, I don't even have a theater nowadays. Like, the mall used to be good. It used to, it used to have a built-in theater. And then I used to have, like, its own, uh, our own movie theater, like, down the street. I don't have any of that. So, like, I, I can't even recall the last time I went to a movie theater was. I want to say, like, I watched Guardians of the Galaxy, like, in theaters, which is, like, what was that, 2014, maybe? You wish it was open, you could use a movie to take your mind off all this craziness. Look at these movies, though. You really look forward to Lizard Man 2. The first one is a classic. You've seen it at least 27 times. But this one looks more interesting. Going Ape and Blastovision. You heard about this one. Blastovision really redefines what cinema can be. Let's see what else we got here. So then Mayfields. It's kind of interesting. That's Mayfields, a huge department store chain. The perfume department is visible front and center. Ooh. Hey, a hat store. That's Hat Matters, a division of the Hat B Dashers mega chain. At, a, at any rate, the only store, to, oh, the only hat store in town. Oh, you saw the movie Ma Ma Mario movie in theaters before that was Detective Pikachu. No, it was Sonic Two. You don't go to theaters much. You have gone more to movie theaters than I have in God knows how many years combined. So, but yeah, I mean, I wish I went to more movie theaters, but it's okay. I try to lift the heavy metal shutter, but it's clearly locked. Clearly, you freaking idiot. But there's a door there. It's an employee-only door. You barely made it through the last time. You're not eager to try again. Oh! That's where I came out of? No, no, no. Never, excuse me. I thought that was an extra door to the hat store. Never, never mind. There's nothing on Earth that could convince you to go back in there. Well, I guess I'll go to Mayfields. You walk through the gaping entrance to Mayfields, bracing for a wall of perfume. <laughs> The sharp sting of 50 different perfumes assaults your senses the second you cross the threshold into Mayfields. The flowery fog is especially thick today. You soon realize it's not a cloud of cologne, but a shroud of smoke. Aw, oh, what the hell is this guy? Alright then. Yeah, a lot of people don't go to theaters anymore. It's just more convenient to use streaming services. It is, but th there's kind of like a nostalgia factor to it. You know, like... If the theater was nice and the popcorn wasn't a freaking mortgage payment, I think more people w wouldn't mind going. But quite frankly, you know, a movie night with the family can be super expensive. Like tickets alone have gotten are super expensive now. Popcorn, food is expensive as hell. So yeah, I get what you mean. You know, streaming services, you know, it's way more convenient. Everything's at home and you still you chill. Oh, yeah, theaters had, like, an arcade, yeah. At least a few games. Yeah, I don't know, like... 
it is a leprechaun. I don't know if he has like a name or anything or if he's from the actual series. I'm sure he is, but I wouldn't know. <laughs> Out of which steps a hunched figure, his eager grin dripping ill intent. Oh, you guys... <laughs> First off, I'm gonna save, and then you guys are gonna compare yourselves to a really bad Irish accent. It's Crunby, a shrunken troll of a leprechaun. He's dressed with a flair that contrasts his scruffy demeanor. <laughs> Crunby be me name, and, I, if you, and if you'd be a sport, I present you with one fine quiz of a sort. It's more of a riddle, yes, a riddle to be, and the only way past beyond here is through me. So here's the big moment with no more delaying. Open your ears, child, it's your riddle, I'm saying. I may not seem large, a redwood for a flea. A calm in this busy world, don't mess the forest for me. Don't miss force for me. So roll that, roll that through your mind, you wit quick as a dancer. When you solve the puzzle, simply show me your answer. But I must be upfront and issue this warning. If you answer me wrong, you don't live to see morning. <laughs> okay. Um, what? <laughs> I should have been paying more attention what the hell he was actually trying to say. Was he talking about a damn tree? For, uh, forget the clue. Okay. I may not seem large, a redwood for a flea. So, like, it's huge to a flea. A calm in this busy world. Don't miss a force. I think he's talking about the rose. Yeah, I, I really think he's talking about the blue rose. <laughs> well, that's a little creepy. Hmm. No, no, I'm afraid that simply makes no sense. Which means you must now face dire consequence. <laughs> so, Mr. Wapapi has a sword for you. Damn, here I thought I was actually, uh, clever. Hmm. <laughs> I may not be large, a redwood for a flea, a calm in this busy world. Don't miss the forest for me. Hmm. I don't know. It really sounded like it was going to be this freaking rose, but I guess not. I mean, the thing is, I don't even know if I have what he wants, to be quite honest. I have like five pages of stuff too, and I just don't know like what the hell I can even utilize at this point, but uh there you go. Hey there, Simmy, how are you doing today? Nothing, uh, we just started, really. Like, we went up to, like, the Mayfields. It's, like, the department store here. And we got to answer this dude's riddle, and I, I don't get it. I must have what he's talking about, but it says here, like, I may not seem large, a redwood for a flea, a calm in this busy world, don't miss the forest for me. I thought he was talking about the rose, but apparently not. You know, I just realized something. We have this camera, and I, I don't rarely use it. Can I use it on him? I can. A moment later, the photograph slides out. What's this going to tell me? A Polaroid photo of Crombie, or Crombie, of the leprechaun. He's holding an item from the mall. He's holding an item from the mall? Maybe that's the little hint. Like, it's something here that we grabbed. Um... May not seem large, or a redwood to a flea. Uh, don't miss the forest for me. Is it cotton candy? <laughs> nope. Ouch! Same thing over and over again, yeah? What the hell? I don't know, hope you're doing well as well. You just got back home from doing some grocery shopping. That's what I need to be doing, and I, I haven't... I might as well wait until tomorrow anyway, until the new, um... Uh... I was gonna say, like, I, at least I can wait for the new sales to drop, you know? Hmm. I, I really 
don't know. I may not seem large, a redwood for a, for a fleet, a calm in this busy world. Don't miss the forest for me. Like, I I don't know. I, I don't I don't think I have what he wants. <laughs> You know, I, I can look around still. Let's, let's just do that for a time being. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll find it later. I don't know. <laughs> I know, like, I just got been busy. More varieties of makeup that you could possibly imagine are displayed here. Some have been used by unscrupulous window shoppers. Of course they have. Is that lipstick? It's a tube of uh, lipstick that seems like the color mom wears. <laughs> just like that. A freaking stolen lipstick. Glimpse of some promotions that Mayfields is running this season. A makeup counter without mirrors to check your work would truly be a nightmare. This one must be new. Eh, uh, the bet. That's disgusting. Let's <laughs> test it. Let's spritz a small amount of perfume into the air and breathe it in. It smells musky. Well, I'm taking it. It's a compact for a face powder. It smells kind of like. It smells kind of chalky. Alright, I'll take that too. <laughs> it also provides cover for employees who remain undetected while they simp snipe passerby with scent assaults. Really? Well, we can go to the women's department or the shoe department. Let's go to the women's <laughs> department. Oh, never mind. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now that can't be permitted. Snow getting through here till your answer is submitted. Alright, I guess we'll just leave. I don't know if I have what I need from you. Can, did I go back here? Actually, I don't think I did. The seemingly endless rows of stores continue on either side of the mall. One kiosk stands alone. And another trash can of mall is on top of this. Look, a bookstore. That's Bone Chilling Books, one of the proud few bookstore chains that refuses to go digital. Uh oh. See, what do I do when I see, like, the silhouette? Do I just leave? Because I'm afraid he's going to come at me. You bend down, grasp a shutter's handle in both hands. You pull upward with all your might, but it doesn't move. It's definitely locked, but you can't find a keyhole anywhere. It's an ironic t-shirt. What's in a nime? it asks. I don't get it. Okay. You fold the shirt into your bag, Chad would probably get a kick out of it. Yeah, I'm sure he would. A prime example of the delicate art of miniature tree cultivation. Oh, bonsai tree. Hey, that might be what the guy's looking for. Crap, see, look. I, I see... I saw the security guard again on the right. A set of normal playing cards, but the art on the back is from your favorite RPG. Final Fantasy? You can never have too many playing cards. So, okay, this time I'm actually not going to go anywhere. I'm going to see what happens. It's a highly posable figure from a popular TV show. You take the action figure just in case you find some time to play later. Aww, look at the adorable kitten. You've been behind on things lately. Maybe this calendar will help. It's an unintended mall kiosk. You can find anything uh, at these. It's a very small chest. There's not room for much of anything in there, so it's probably decorative. You carefully open a delicate chest and are surprised to see there's a key inside. Oh, it's a store small key of a hat on the fob. Hey! It's for the the hat store. Cool. Did we, uh... I wonder if I can find the keys for, like, the bookstore and, like, the all the other places. That'd be kind of interesting if I can. Um... P is that PH strips? Oh, no, no, it's not, that's straps. So, phone straps. Decorative uh, cell phone charms featuring an adorable little mascot. You pick out a strap that catches your fancy and pocket it. Okay. I hope that's it. 
So yeah, I think as long as I don't go in a direction that he's in, I think I'll be good. The oven is being a butt when we want just to have some chicken to enjoy. It's got grime in it that smoked up the oven and triggered the smoke detectors three times. Oh crap, I'm sorry, Jaden. This doesn't sound fun at all. Zap's Arcade is one of the few remaining bastions of coin-operated gaming. You probably have time to take a look. Once mom dropped you and Chad off to buy a Father's Day gift, but you accidentally spent all your money in the arcade. Yeah, <laughs> accidentally. Okay. Let's check it out. Eagerly rush into Zap's Arcade. Zap's Arcade glows all around you. Games of every era and genre preserved for eternity in a dingy mall shop. Cool. So what we got here? We got an arcade game. It's Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. My favorite book. A retro arcade puzzle game. No problem at all, Jane. Thank you so much for stopping by, buddy. Hope uh, you get to enjoy your chicken eventually, right? Yeah, let's play uh, freaking Curse of the Mummies 2. Unfortunately, without coins, you can only watch the attract mode while wiggling the joystick, pretending to play. <sighs> Damn it, I need to get those coins. Which I think I'm gonna do, I, I should be able to do next. You know, you know what? Hold on, I'm gonna leave. Let me go back down here. There you go. Now I can grab some coins. You lean over and snatch up as, as many coins as you hold, as you can hold. You hope this doesn't mean your wish won't come true. All right. So let's not go to the right. We've been there, so let's go up again. Let's go to the arcade. All right. Now we can go ahead and uh, use the coins on the arcade game. It takes a minute for you to figure out what you're supposed to do, and as soon as that happens, you die. Come on, game. That sucks, man. I thought you, I was actually going to do something there. Kids bring their hard-won tickets here to exchange them for prizes. Like, what are we, oh, look at, the, look at the little doggies. Slinkies. Man, these uh, ticket prices are kind of insane. Some cheap but cute toy jewelry. It's a bargain for 35 tickets. You don't have enough tickets for it. The only logical answer? Skee ball time. No, sir, nobody's watching. I'm sure I can take it. Various prizes are arranged on the shelves, each assigned a ticket value. Sunglasses if you want a, a unique sunburn. It's extremely expensive mugs. A tasteful trucker hat. The stuffed animals are cute. Jacks, if anyone's play, played Jacks anymore. And some audio equipment. Why are the headphones more expensive than the MP3 player? He, that That is st stupid, but okay. So it looks like the jewelry is something we got to focus on, right? Like everything else is just prices, prices. Yep. Okay. Oops. Place your tickets in this box to claim a prize. Alright, well, ski ball apparently is a thing we need to do. But let's take a look at what we got an arcade game here. Legend of the Lost Legend. It's a classic hack and slash brawler set in medieval times. I'm not familiar if that's a Goosebumps book or not. Well, let's see what I can do. Select a dwarf because of his truly epic beard. The stage opens on a battlefield. Arrows are arcing uh, in your background. You move to the left. Several kobolds bound on screen. They seem like a low-level enemy, so you attack. They barely fight back, and each one goes down after a single multi-hit combo. One of them drops a bag of money. What would you pick up? You spend a little more time exploring the screen, but a big annoying arrow appears, prodding you to keep moving to the right. <laughs> you reach the edge of the forest, the two more kobolds appear, this time flanked by a goblin archer. Play continues like the play continues like this for a while until you eventually run out of energy. You know, you got pretty far. Okay. Freaking Dance Dance Revolution. Well, maybe not. It's a popular surfing game called Ghost Beach. Really? It looks like it. I guess so. Where the hell's the surfboard? Uh, I guess we'll play some Ghost Beach. You're pretty good at this game. You're able to dodge 35 ghosts before wiping out. And finally, Ski Ball. You love this game, and you're really good at it. I guess we gotta use this one. Okay. Let's play some speedball. Each coin clatters down the slot. 
After a moment, five balls drop into the chamber with a very sharp crack. I guess I choose which one. It's ski ball. You roll wooden balls down the lanes and end up and go up the ramp. You score points based on which hole the, hole the balls land in. Yeah, we'll just use. Uh, yeah, the, the middle lane. Uh, you bowl the ski ball down the lane. Watch in anticipation. Jesus, where the hell it go? Okay, twenty. Uh, go here. Oh, that was ten. Boo. Okay. Let's go a little bit more to the left here. Hello! That was a jackpot. We may have just found a lane we needed. Yeah, we found we found a lane. It's a second to the left. Ah, oh, crap. I don't even know if I select the right one. Cool. I got 18 tickets. You tear your tickets out of the slot and take a moment to fold them up into a compact little ticket pile. All right, let's play. Uh, let's play again. This time we'll get a perfect score. I hope it's not randomized though. I just realized I could be randomized depending on each game. Nope, it sure isn't. It's all the same lane. must go. Achieve a perfect game of skee-ball. And what do I get? 25 tickets plus 18. Well, that's more than enough to get the freaking jewelry, I guess. You place your tickets in a ticket box and await your prize. Looks like you can afford toy jewelry. Now, here's the thing. Imagine if I kept playing, would I really get, like, any of the other prizes? I highly doubt it. But that might be a funny Easter egg. Hmm. That is a Goosebumps book? Gotcha. You take your hard-earned jewelry and place it amongst your things. Cool. Um, can I go he here? It looks like the store leads to the, the store next door. It's locked, though. It's clearly a locked door. And I don't think this key is going to open it. Oh no, it is for the hat store. You turn the hat store key and the door unlocks immediately. Awesome. Well, I guess that makes sense. How the hell was I gonna use a keyhole on a shutter door? Okay, so that, we're good. You're in an upscale hat store. There's a very pleasant leather smell about this place. Look at all these hats. These hats are the store's primary trade. Several varieties available. Several, including a flapper hat. It looks like the retro look is returning the hats. Good to know. Ooh, a friggin' fedora? This is a fedora. It's definitely not a trilby. You swat some fuzz off the fedora before slipping it into your pack. Milady. A light, airy sun hat. You put the sun hat in your bag, which bends the brim a bit, but, eh, whatever. all on this rack. Got a beanie. Now, this is a, f a fun head topper. Down to earth, but makes a statement. Hats. Hats. More hats. It's a derby hat. A roughly hat with a big flower on it. You pinch the hat for yourself. Just a bunch of more hats. I hope I didn't miss anything else. I, I just... So much crap in my inventory, though. So much. Are they serious with these portraits? Sure, why not? Since they sell wallets, it's only fair they sell a selection of purses as well. Hmm, you've never worn suspenders. They seem reserved for musicians and drama kids. Really? Snag the suspenders for a rainy day. 
Ties are always fun to look at. Most of them are so ugly. Why do people wear them? Dude, okay, he doesn't know anything. I like wearing ties. You, nice ties are like really cool. Grab the least offensive tie you can find. Hey, there's film. That might be it. I just grabbed a bunch of hats, a pair of suspenders, and a tie. I guess now I can go back to Mayfield. And so, like, let's let's listen to his thing again, right? It says, I may not seem large, a redwood for a flea, a calm in his busy world. Don't miss the forest for me. That's absolutely the bonsai tree. So I didn't actually have it on me just yet. There it is. Uh, aha! Well, there, well, there now. I got it. Something I didn't expect. So congratulations, bonsai is correct. Since you have played by the rules, I should do the same. I'll leave you alone here just as quick as I came. Deep in the jungle of retail. Cor correctly answer a riddle as if your life depended on it. Alright, that wasn't terrible. I've seen a few of my patients wear suspenders that keep their pants from falling. I mean, I've, s I've seen more and more people wearing them now. I personally haven't, but uh, one day? Maybe. Let's go to the women's department. Hello! You stop in front of a clothing display in a women's apartment. Three mannequins stand around in odd poses. Don't look, they're naked. It's a typical pair of overalls. You wonder why these haven't been in style lately. No, 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 I said I don't wear suspenders, but maybe one day down the road. Who the hell knows? You snag their overalls and find a spot in your bag, because I have, I have like a magic freaking... What's that term called? Like, hammer space or something? Where, like, it's just a black void or a black abyss uh, of a bag that holds all my stuff. There's so many clothes in the section alone, it seems like it would be take a lifetime to see them all. Hey, okay, hammer space? There you go. Thank you. I was going to call it MC Hammer. I'm like, that doesn't sound correct. Oh, there's a fitting room as well? Okay, hold on. These images convey an active, happy lifestyle. I can take a full-ass mannequin? The invisible space that items are stored in the video games, or ass space, as I recall someone of you calling it. It's a mannequin. The store hangs closed on these to show them off. You're coming with me. You reach up to take the mannequin and immediately realize something's not right. Its torso, when you grabbed it, swivels around 180 degrees, loosening the grip. I am not gonna lie, that kind of scared me a little bit, the way it just immediately moved like that. Ugh. You look up to see its hands coming down at the base of your neck, which hurts considerably. The mannequin wraps its spindly limbs around your body and begins to squeeze and never stops that you're aware of. Go eat worms! Have your life ended in 10 unique ways. That is an interesting one. Um... I gotta grab the overalls again. Now, really quick, are the other ones gonna do the same thing? Yep. Now, just to be absolutely safe, I'm gonna do it on the third one as well. Okay. So don't touch the mannequins. She didn't like the way you touched her, I guess. I mean, consent always, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe before I go in the fitting room, can I put on the clothes? You always liked overalls. Why aren't they in style? I don't know. 
Oh crap, wait, is he here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw a silhouette of the fitting room. Yeah, I, th I think he was actually in there. Now I can go in there. You're gripped with apprehension as you enter the fitting rooms. All, th all three stalls shut. You peek underneath each door just in case something's lying and wait to attack. You don't see anything suspicious, but that doesn't mean you're safe. It's a door to one of the fitting room stalls. Care to see what's hiding? Sure. The door leaps out of your, out of your hand, slamming into the stall with a resounding bang. Hello. It's a green dress. It's a shimmering green dress. You take the green dress with you. You check your reflection in the mirror. It's time. This time, it's not trying to kill you. You look in a word, tired. Deep bags hang beneath your eyes, and your hair is a mess. The weight of the afternoon settles across your shoulders, and you feel much heavier. I guess that's, you know, expected. Say, so what's what's over here? Shoes. Oh, this goes back to one's apartment. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. What's well, over in door number two? There's a red dress. You peel for the red dress from the hanger. What does it say? You don't need to look again uh, to know you've seen better days. It's a bench to sit and wait uh, while people are in the fitting rooms. Now, uh, what's something seems like it's under here. It's jeans. So, someone dropped this outfit on the floor. You can't reach it without going to the stall. Something tells me something's up with this particular stall, but let's try it out. The door slowly opens with an extended creak. Oh, it's, just, it's jeans. Every part of this outfit is made of jeans. Seems like a little. And there's also a note. What does this note say? It's a receipt. It's a receipt from G Cavity City, the candy store in the mall. Keep the receipt for future reference, because remember, apparently the door leading to the bookstore is all tied to the cash register uh, at, the, at the Cavity place. This is a receipt from Cavity City you found laying around. Looks like somebody bought $7.30 worth of candy. So somehow, like, we need to have that much candy. Okay. Let's head to the... Oh, really? Was his silhouette there and I just completely missed it? Looking for a pair of boots, maybe? The scary guard pushes you to the ground next to his thick, steely boots. You understand the quip all too well as he prints his footwear on the time at close range. Whoops. Let's go this way. Then let's go back. Let's hope he's not in here again. Okay, so I, I must have just completely missed he was there. Now, I think I see his silhouette right there. Maybe. So let's not go back into the fitting room. Hey there, Anton. Yeah, that damn security guard caught, uh, caught me again. It's a shoe! Oh, you know, I just realized I have a shoe in my inventory still. These sneakers are a nice kind. They withstand months of heavy use. Take the sneakers as your own. Just some ordinary bathroom slippers. They seem comfy enough. I'll take those too. Tall leather boots, which you see all over lately. Fold the boots carefully and tuck them away. It's a selection of design for men's shoes. Nice. You walk over and sift through the men's shoe section looking for anything of note. You find nothing. Hey, man, there's nothing wrong with a nice pair of loafers. Come on now. Guess nothing. There's some good deals on shoes going on. If you were to make a shoe purchase, this is where you would do it. See a woman's heels in red? Yeah, I'll take those. Collect the red heels. Anytime you're in a shoe store, you remember the time Chad made a scene and got kicked out. He decided to become the shoe monster by putting shoes all over his body. His hands, his elbows, knees, ears, head. So classic. 
Mom didn't think so, though. Yeah, that'd be kind of embarrassing, not gonna lie. This is one of those things they use to measure your shoe size. It's called a, bra a Branick device. That has a name to it? I thought it was just a measuring thing. Oh, okay. I always wanted one of these as a kid. They look so cool. You take the Branick device and slip it into your bag. Well, you learn something new every day. I didn't realize I had like an official name. These benches are the perfect size for sitting down and trying on shoes. Alright. I hope that's everything. So wait, is he right there? Can I, you know what? I just realized something. I have the camera again. Can I take a look at it? You enter the, so uh, that moment the photograph slides out. Let's see what it says here about him. A Polaroid photo of Officer Murphy at the, at the massage uh, kiosk. He's sitting... Wait, he's currently investigating a mannequin wearing women's clothes. Okay. So, I assume the clothes that we found... We put them on there, somewhere. Like, I'm not sure which one's what, so... Let's see. Let's try the green dress. I don't know. On her? You drape the dress over it. Nah. I wish they're not killing us now. Nah. Nah. Okay. Didn't like the green dress. Not really your style. So what about the jeans outfit? There's no situation where this outfit works. Hmm. I gotta put shoes on them as well? Like, it's not really indicating like I'm actually putting it on the mannequins. Huh. How did he even manage to put those shoes all over himself? I thought it was just called a foot measuring device. See, I didn't know I had an actual device to it. You really need a new laptop? You hear my name twice and then my computer decides to restart by itself. What the hell? Hmm. I have so much crap and I don't know what the hell to do with any of it. I use the thing on you? So I take note of the shoe size, but then nothing happens. Goosebumps, where we have to clothe mannequins. Yeah, no, I'm just confused. I got like so many things, and then just. Like, what? You want a tie? You hold the tie up and chuckle. Everything looks silly with a tie on it. You want some suspenders? Hmm. There's gotta be a clue of some sort, but I am lost. So this, that's the last thing you would start from a Goosebumps game. I did not like... Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that freaking BS? That was a big no-no. That was a big hell no. me like super quick and you know, we never went up here actually no we did go here but I didn't use the 
thing on it yet because I didn't have coins. Now I do. You didn't see it, Simi? Oh, you got lucky then. My boyfriend started playing Ace Attorney recently. I sent him links to your LPs if he gets stuck. Oh, I appreciate it, Poe Girl. Slide a few coins into the slot. They make a very satisfying clatter as they disappear. What? Money can solve a lot of problems, but not this one. Well, I put some coins in. Uh. There he is again. He's at the candy store. Alright. So. I'm not really sure what to do here. You let your fingers do to walk into a promising page in a phone book. Um, who who am I supposed to call here? Angstings, Doubtleave, Dreadwords, Frightland, Goulberg, Jitters, You Nice, Panicsin, Phobia, K Reap, D Spare, Tremor, Warrington. Who the hell am I supposed to call? Ghostbusters! I don't know. We'll just try Angstings, maybe. You memorize the number listener for Angstings, hoping that's a clever pseudonym for R.L. Stein. Alright. There you go. Now can I... But he doesn't like it when I use the damn payphone. Alright, hold on. Maybe because I didn't put coins on it yet. Hold on. Get out of there. Oh, crap. I went to the thing. He's right there. Yep. Hungry for punishment? No. Yeah. That's something about pizza slice? Jesus. So you don't want to go to any place where he, the silhouette's there. That, that's the big no-no. He's still there. And I need to do something with $7.30 worth of candy, but I need, I need like a container. Can I put, can I use one of the hats? I can definitely use a hat for a container. You know, hey, what about the plastic tray? That seems fine, right? That, that, that weighs things. This dump truck should work. You think it would work. It doesn't. Or the spade. Or like this plate, a decorative plate you would think I'll be able to store it in. Can we destroy the guard robot thing? I'm not sure if I can. Like, I, I, I don't know what the hell I can do. It just seems like you have to avoid him. It is nice. Yeah, he says something new every time you run into him. It's just, it sucks that it happens. Like, it gets you. This robot man thing needs to calm the hell down. <laughs> and they say quests are dead. Hey there, Turtek. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. It's an outlet. Hey, my phone can be plugged in there? Oh, crap. Yeah, look at that. Like, freaking, like, 0%. I might as well, right? Don't go to sleep. Just charge your cell phone. You plug your phone into a charger. Its battery power will increase as long as you leave it there. I guess I'll leave it there. Oh, maybe it's because we had the stupid camera. What the hell can I do about it? Oh, 
No, give me... No, 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 come back here. No, don't call anybody. Ugh. Sorry, I'm like using like every single button. There we go. Let's try memorizing Hastings again. Hastings, whatever. I need, I need to shut off the cameras, and I I didn't see anything I could do so in the security room. I guess I can check it out. You're doing a, you, you were doing an OG Barrett thing by censoring yourself? Oh, he doesn't censor himself at all in the other game now, does he? Is he, is he eating a damn uh, donut? You're a machine, dude. Never going back there, so I guess I can't do anything in there. You know, what I just realized too. This is a facelifter, right? There's no way you're putting your face into a machine called the facelifter and turn it on. I just thought about something. We have the mask, don't we? You think maybe that does something? Hold on. It doesn't feel right. Yank the mask and find your grasping gear. What is this thing? We try again, and now we can't take it off. Can I then use it here? Oh my god, yeah, that's it's right. Out of the options, you sit down in the facelifter and lean forward, so the mask is pressed against the machine. Crossing your fingers, you hit the on switch and grit your teeth. It worked! You're free of the haunted mask. You spitefully shove it to the very bottom of your bag. Heads, you lose. Pry the haunted mask off your face. So that's just like a little Easter egg? Huh. What if we charge the phone, look up the number, and then when the phone is charged, make a call? Oh, geez. You, you know, you're... Well, yeah, why didn't I think about that? Why the hell did I keep trying to use the damn payphone? Thank you, poor girl. That does seem like the correct way to do that. It sounds painful. Eh, kind of. His dumbass is by the damn uh, things again. Not anymore. So, just to be sure. Guys, didn't I have my phone here? Uh, do I need to stay here? So if I leave and come back, let's see. Huh. You know... Oh, I reloaded. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was, I was like, did I... Did I die and didn't come back here? So... Yeah, I guess we got a little charge. I guess I can try catch up with chat. Barry may not censor himself in Final Fantasy VII Remake, but in Japanese, Madame M does. Just before the Hell House fight, when she's ranting and starts cussing, censor beeping comes on, comes in, making it freaking hilarious. Madame M, what a awesome new character to have in, her, in Remake. Because she wasn't in the original one, right? I don't think so. Like, her... And the Sam Elliott dude. Uh, I got. I gotta say, the the Hell House fight in remake on hard. That was probably the f the first really hard boss fight I had in hard mode. Um, that thing sucked. Dude, I think you should run. I think I'll be okay, Poe Girl. Thank you so much for the 10 bits.
I no, I I don't think he catches you. Like the, what you, what I think what you need to do is like if you see him in a direction, don't go in that direction. I don't think it's time based. I, I thought it was because sometimes the silhouette would show, but I think I'm safe here. I hope. Chocobo Sam, thank you. And I'm like, man, I was like, I was like, what? It's like it's Sam Elliott, kinda. What's it at now? One percent? I have no service. Uh Okay. I'll let that charge. Yeah, I don't know where to go now. Or what to do. Like, we know that... We need to use we need to use seven dollars and thirty cents worth of candy to open up the door. But my thing is I I don't know how to I gotta store the candy in somewhere. We didn't get a bag or anything like that. And you, you'd think with like maybe I just put it on a tray. Maybe I'll put it in a yeah. Um, perfume bottle like something or even use it use it as a hat I I don't know I'll use the shoe as a container Dude, you tried doing the Hell House fight on my own on hard so many times before I looked up on an excellent video got how to do it. Y yeah, don't do what I did and just like whittle it away. And it took me like an hour to like fight, uh, figure, finally finish it off. It was, it was painful. I'm wondering why they're going to do, what they're going to do after Final Fantasy VII Remake. Though I guess there's a lot of hype around Final Fantasy XVI, so I guess they still have games or series that people care about. Oh no, yeah, th I think they're doing well. Like 16, I think was 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 really praised I have it I, I got the game once it, like when it released haven't played it and, and just to show you guys I mean there it is like it, it is the disc is in the PS4 or excuse me PS5 and I have not even touched it but I will I will play it. I think Square Square Enix they they have a lot in store. Oh man, yeah, I don't know what else to do now. We the thing is charging, so that's fine. The I feel like I gotta call somebody on the thing, but I, I feel like I do something about the cameras. Um. We we also have the toy jewelry we got from the arcade. I don't know what the hell to do with that. Like I really don't know. There's got to be something here. There's got to be. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Are those bad? Those are bags. Oh, my God. They were right in front of me the whole time. You're supposed to fill these bags with all the candy you want to buy. Give me one of those damn bags. Prepare to meet your damn pharaoh. Give, 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 give me those. Give me... Just give me... I don't know what I want. Jelly beans? 
It won't fit in the bag. You're supposed to this bag's meant for candy. Can I am grabbing candy. You dumb? Use the empty bag on jelly beans. Okay, fine. We're not using jelly beans then. Sour belts. Okay then. Fine. Freaking fruit caps? I I'm gonna get mad now. Fruit shoes. A am I... Am I missing something? It won't fit in the bag. You suppose this bag's meant for candy and candy alone? I, I, I am. Uh-oh, the quarry's still in the string tags? It is? Oh, damn it all. Oh, shit, you're right. Whoops. Well, we'll get rid of that. <laughs> they have a Goosebumps thing? There it is. Goosebumps. There we go. Thank you. That should be a uh, freaking change now. Uh, yo, you got Final Fantasy 16 the other week, but of course, video game backlog. I can't help buying more games, movies. Oh, dude, I bought six games over the weekend because GameStop was having like a stupidly insane sale, like brand new games for ten bucks. I got freaking. The new, the new Star Ocean game for $10. I got freaking um, uh, Valkyrie Elysium for $10. I got... Uh, hold on. What else did I get? Hold on. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Hold on. I got Star Ocean Divine Force for $10. Valkyrie Elysium for $10. I got Forspoken for like $15. Uh, I got Kirby Star Allies for $15. A, a freaking Switch, a brand new Switch game for $15 is insane. Um, I got Jedi Survivor for $20 on the Xbox, funny enough, but it's like Deluxe Edition. So that's five. What the hell is the sixth game I bought? It's, it's bad when I can't even remember the games that I bought. What the hell was number six? Uh, that's gonna bother me. Hold on, I'm looking it up. A copyright claim on episode two. Why? Oh, it's a stupid song. Of course, it's. <laughs> I'm not making any money off the off the quarry streams. Which I knew that was gonna be the case. I just find it funny. Um, bum, 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 bum. here's my order. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I forgot I bought this. Freaking uh. Final Fantasy Origin, Stranger of Paradise, 10 bucks. So all those games, I think like I paid like 90 for, when the brand new price would have been like $350. Like, I couldn't pass it up. So I definitely, uh, I, I definitely splurged. So. It's just only a few games reach the status. Is it for the... Uh, is it for the better to play Final Fantasy VII now instead of later? Uh, well, I think it's fine because, honestly, each game is its own game, right? Like, yes, of course, to get the full, full experience, you'd like to play each one, right? But I think you're still going to really enjoy playing each one individually when it comes out, you know? But once again, to each their own. Because I feel like if you do play each, like, all the games back-to-back, -back, like the three games they're going to make in the series, that's a lot of Final Fantasy VII. Like, that's, like, an insane amount. So I think it is better that you can play it, you know, in separate chunks. Do you think the customers would just shove candies in their pockets or something? <laughs> well, no, but I, I, I thought, like, I had something in my inventory to be the holder. I didn't realize the bags are right there because I'm dumb. <laughs> or, once again... The, the thing that kind of gets me is, like, in, in a lot of point-and-click games, they give you, like, hotspots of what items you can select. Um, now, I know it makes it 20 times easier, and maybe that ruins the fun, but sometimes you just forget, like, oh, my God, what can I interact with? So. Uh, 
speaking of updating you have in your welcome message eight years on YouTube, which which welcome message? Are you here on Twitch? Sometimes I keep forgetting which ones I updated, which ones I didn't. I'm assuming probably here on Twitch, yeah. Yeah, I, I gotta keep out keep keep yeah on Twitch, okay. I gotta keep track of everything. From what you understand, Stranger of Paradise is supposed to be kind of a remake of the very first Final Fantasy game. That's the impression I got out of it when I played the demo. It seemed it was fun. I mean I mean I get get around to it like soon, but ten bucks is ten bucks, you know. Oh sorry, I, I meant to I meant to I meant to just play Final Fantasy VII remake card from developer publisher perspective. Oh, okay. Uh Okay. Same. How can I Oh. Well, see, look at that. Why did that work and not me selecting a candy bag and then the candy? Like, I know the candy bag's in my inventory, but you think you had to use the item from your inventory, interact with, with the candy. Whatever. You, you pour several beans into the candy bag. Okay. Fine. Screw it. Was that enough? That's only... That, that's nothing. Okay. Um, do I, can I grab more? It's, I don't think actually you know to be honest with you poker I don't think I've actually ever been in a candy store like a like a full-blown candy store period and I don't think I have you're also interested in it's a, is it easier to make HD 2d games uh live alive remake octopath travel etc seems like 3d games but stylized as 2d I guess it just depends on the developer like you know what they're comfortable with um something tells me that like they're good doing whatever. Um, I think I think they all have their challenges. And actually, speaking of HD 2D remakes or games, that the news the the remake of Star Ocean 2, I think it, it looks like it's gonna be nice. Well, yeah, but I I didn't see a scooper, you know, like. Ah. Like if we think about logic too much here, it's going to hurt our heads. You played the very first Final Fantasy game on your PSP. You found a, you found a great price at a retro gaming store that used to be on Eager City. Dude, yeah, I love the... Um, I love the... Uh, Final Fantasy 1. I played on the Game Boy Advance version. It's very generic, but that's where it all started, right? Okay, and we need how much? Seven, I think seven dollars and thirty cents worth. This might be too much now. I went over. So, oh crap. I'm trying to think here. Hold on. This might be a lot of uh, trial and error here. So each. Thing of jelly beans is a dollar seventy. Okay. And each thing of sour belts, eighty. All right, hold on. I may need to write. I may need to write this down. Give me a minute. Puzzle solving. So jelly beans. That was one seventy, right? Sour belts. That's 
baby sense. I'm sure I'm gonna need like a mixture of like whatever to get to 730. Okay. Where are these fruit caps? Dollar sixty. I'm sure I can go by pounds. Like, we need 7.3 pounds. Well, actually, no, no, no. Excuse me. We need 0.73 pounds. So. Actually, wouldn't that be a little bit easier? Hold on. Maybe that would be easier. So, 73. I don't think any of these are going to work. Um. You can say that Octopath Traveler 2 is definitely more interesting than the first one. I definitely heard that myself. I heard both games were great, but I never got around to any one of them. I don't, I don't own them, I think. Fruit caps. Okay, fruit orbs. How much are fruit orbs? If one of them's a dollar thirty, we I think we would have been good, but they'll actually ah oh, no, I don't like them close. No. Fruit orbs is dollar fifty. Um, one of my favorites, freaking chocolate uh, pretzels. Dollar forty. This is invigorating, guys, for you guys just watching me figure out how much the candy is. Oh, peanut butter cups, that's right. Those are also my favorite. <laughs> Dollar. Oh wait, that's even more expensive. PB cups. One eighty. Actually, what is that? One eighty. That's three sixty. Uh, actually, that'd be a little bit too much, wouldn't it? Damn, I know it'll be seven dollars and twenty cents. I'll be just ten off. Ugh. Are we getting? Are we gonna get to another conversation with candy? I mean, that's on you guys. The problem is, like, this is so daunting that I don't know what else to talk about besides like grabbing all this damn candy and weighing it all out. Sour belts. So these are all the same. Gummy worms are different though. I see, huh? Two seventy. Well, hold on. Maybe I have something with me. If I do, I do two pounds or two things of gummy worms. I'll be at five forty, and then I would need. I would need one ninety. at all. Every time I feel like I'm close. One of the nastiest freaking candy ever available. That's a dollar twenty. Way too damn much for those. Can I do something with those? One twenty. No, I'm, 
I'm, I'll still be one freaking thing off. Like, I can get, like, five things of Swedish fish. I'll be at $6. But then I'll be a $1.30 off. Oh, my God. This is really annoying. What candy did you say is the nastiest ever? Oh, uh, freaking Swedish fish. Like, I just do not like... I like gummy candy, but not sweet. Swedish fish is disgusting. Candy corn is also disgusting. I'll diss the fish all I want. Because they're disgusting. And I don't think I've ever even ever had these. Root beer... Or barrels or root beer, root beer barrels what I don't even know like what brand or what the hell that's supposed to be I don't think I've ever had those 50 well not can I do something with that trying to do again? I'm trying to do $7.30 worth, right? So... If these are a dollar... Okay, no, I think I got it. I think I got it. Let's empty this out, just so I'm certain. So, we'll grab a thing of peanut butter cups. That's $1.80, right? And then a thing of uh, Swedish, Swedish, no, excuse me, the barrels. That's 50 cents. Now that puts me at 230. Now I need five dollars worth of these sugar caps. One, two, three, four, five. This should be enough. Place your candy bag on the scale and wait. That only took too long. <laughs> but I got it. Now, I'm, I'm sure I could use other combinations, whatever, but you know what? That one worked. Oh, the scale sinks further into the counter of a click. A seemingly solid wall of a candy store slides open, revealing a doorway. Are you terrified yet? Grab my phone. Oh crap, he's right behind me. It's n after all of that? 25%? You know what? Just kiss my. You know what? Get out of here. just leads into a bookstore where Slappy awaits. Hey, wait, is this the ending of the game? Shut my save. Stealing your nerves, you press on the bookstore for whatever waits beyond. Ugh. Aw, oh, I'm sorry, Simmy. <laughs> Don't be sad. You guys can do it again. 
I like that all the trophy, uh, all the trophy names are titles of the books. It is cool. I wish I was more of a connoisseur of goosebumps to remember each thing, but uh, it is what it is. The bookstore is bathed in darkness. There's a sense of absence that your mind races to fill. It's so dark you can't make out any of the titles, but from here they seem like ordinary books. Shadows hang from every surface. A perfect hiding place for every nightmare you'd ever had. A number of Goosebumps books lie, discarded in a pile on the floor. That is interesting. Anton, are you able to make out any of the books by like the little imagery here? I swear this one looks familiar. It was a green, like, green border and, like, a purple kind of holographic, like, image in the, in the middle. I forgot if it, was like, if it was of a house or something, but I could have sworn one of these look familiar. But you want to go go goth for this month? Well, I mean, I understand it was just done, but it doesn't mean you guys can't do it again. You just got to be careful, like, you know, make sure they don't, like, strip away next time. The one I was pointing to is Night of the Living Dummy 3. Okay, I have this one for sure. I have a lot of the Goosebumps books. They're like they're 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 all my sisters. We have them down there, like in the basement. I got I gotta see which ones we actually have. Alright guys, let's look at the dummy. The figure on the wall the figure on the floor looks like an eventualicus puppet. Is it slappy? No, this puppet has different hair and everything. We're slappy. This, if Slappy's not here, he could be anywhere. This de decoy had you completely fooled. <laughs> oh, son of a... You know what? This game has been scaring me more than the freaking quarry. Like, that... Like, this is a rated E game, guys. I'm getting more scared of this one than I have for the other ones. Whoo! <laughs> as, as long as I wasn't the only one who got scared, it looks like Poe Girl really got scared there, too. You're not Stein! What do you think you're doing here? I, uh... <coughs> I'm being bold, you... Butthole. I've kind of put an end to this. I'm afraid you're jumping the gun a little bit. Arl Stein's the only person who can stop me, and even then... You're wrong, and I'll prove it to you by putting an end to your schemes. Kid, you need my book to do that, and you don't got it. Otherwise, you wouldn't let me do this. With impossible speed, Slappy lunges for your throat. His tiny wooden fingers clack together as he ushers you to an eternal rest. <laughs> you nearly choked on the salami and almost yeeted your phone. I'm sorry, Boga Girl. So maybe I gotta choose something else? Okay, guys, be, be careful. It's gonna pop up again. So yeah, I was okay there. I forgot what his voice sounds like. I'm just giving my generic stupid voice. Let's be tricky. The question is, what do you think you're doing here? Well, isn't it obvious? I'm releasing the most dangerous creatures from Arlstein's books to lure him into a trap that spill spells his certain doom. <laughs> He'll stop you. Once he gets here, you're in trouble. He wrote your stories. So there's no way he'll fall for your trap. Whatever happens, you'll be gone. You'll be long gone before he gets here. Maybe you should have called to give him a heads up. Speaking of which, here's a little thing I call a heads off. <laughs> so, you know, I just thought of something. Can our brother help us? For once.
Where's our brother at? He's checking himself out in the mirror, attempting to style his hair into something other than a big mop. Something's out of car. Really? I just got comfortable. Dude, shut up. No, I get it. So we had to head somewhere else? I don't think so. Not cool, okay. Well, can I use- maybe I can use my phone now? You dial the number you memorize and wait, wait as it rings and rings. Someone picks up. Hello? Hi! Uh, is this Arl Stein? My name's Pharaoh and I have an urgent- Sorry, uh, the voice on the other end of the line is not Arl Stein. I think you have the wrong number. They hang up. So that's what I gotta do, huh? I, I gotta, like, I gotta call R.L. Stein. How am I supposed to know which one he is? In the meantime... So one of these numbers is R.L. Stein, and I don't know who the hell it would be. I would that would have been cool if it said beware, you know, like that that would have been it. I'm des despair maybe, despair, creep. Like I I don't know. Like does R.L. Stein go by any of these? Please don't tell me how to keep going back and forth, back and forth, and make these phone calls. Like that's gonna be freaking insane. Every time I watch someone play a scary game and they get scared, it's funny to me, so I wind up laughing most of the time. No, no, trust me, it's hilarious. I do the same thing whenever I watch any, any anyone else get scared playing horror games. It's freaking hilarious. Not so much to me, but as long as you guys are having fun, that's kind of what matters, right? I don't, I don't know, like, there's got to be a way to, to know, like, which exact, um, there's, there's got to be one of these, I, I, I got a call, you know, but I'm not sure who, hey guys, actually give me a, I'm going to take a quick break. And I will be back in a eh, few minutes. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being patient with me. <clears throat> Welcome back to the stream. Ooh. All right. So, where the hell was I? Uh. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. Sorry, I drank some water and it's like, ugh. Ugh. Jesus. All right. Uh. Let's see, before he. Before he became a household name, Arl Stein wrote jokey books under the name Jovial Bob. Damn it. Wait, he actually wrote joke books? I gotta find out more about Arl Stein. You know, we we met him at, like, at our local Comic-Con. Oh man, I, I forgot what year it was. 2018, maybe? Yeah, I think it was 2018. Like, well, and actually, okay. <laughs> Before I uh, try figuring this out, 2018's Comic Con was like pretty crap for me because I waited in line to meet Matthew Mercer. You know, I'm like, yeah, he's awesome. I spent the entire time waiting in line, right? Hours. And uh, my brother and sister, you're like, they come, to, uh, they're not like huge in like, you know, those conventions, but they're like, oh, it's something to do, right? So they they're the ones who met R.L. Stein and he signed a couple of their books and then they met all these other people they walked around whatever and then I was just slowly slowly but slowly getting up to see Matthew Mercer finally it was my turn I was gonna go see him and then 
Oh, like one of the security guards or something. He's like, he's like, oh guys, sorry, we have to stop for right now. He has like a panel he has to get to, and he's like, but he'll be back. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Fine, okay. I I waited. All of us waited an hour, cause I was the next one in line. An hour goes by. Hour and a half goes by. Somebody from the convention comes out, one of the, like, you know, organizers. And he's like, guys, I'm so sorry, but he actually got pulled to another thing. And, you know, you know, he's not going to be coming back today. I spent my whole Comic-Con time, which is like four or five hours, maybe, waiting in a line to do nothing. And I was the next guy to see him. Like, I, I just stood there. I'm like, dude, I, you know, I've been here for, like, I spent my whole day here. And they're like, he's like, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. So I turned around. I went to the, uh, like, ticket kiosk thing at the other side of the convention. I'm like, I want my money back. And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, I spent my whole entire time here doing nothing. Yeah, and like, and I think what helped my case was like I had a big group of people behind me, because like everybody was upset. We're like, we want our money back because we spent our in our entire time waiting in line to get an autograph. We didn't get to experience anything, and we're not gonna come back here another day because some some people they're not local, you know. They they come they come out to other cities for these events. So, at the end of the day, I didn't get to meet him. I got my money back, though. And then I got some pizza afterwards because I was sad. <laughs> anyway, there's that. Okay, so I don't know what to do here. So, I'm going to memorize every damn... Um, I'm going to memorize every name... And hope to God that... You think I have service right here, actually? Hold on. Sorry, I turned the volume. Okay, listen, bye. Okay, didn't mean to call my... My mommy. Hello? Hi, are you Arlo Stein? Uh, the voice I learned is like... You had the wrong number. Hang up. Okay. So yeah, logically, there must be a better way to do this, but quite frankly, I wouldn't know how. Please remind me not to, uh, well, don't, don't make me go back up to the phone booth right now. Wrong number. Still there. Oh crap, he's right behind he's right behind me. Wrong number again, okay. I don't know if I'm doing this right, you know, there there might be other ways to do this, but you know, right, this, this is the brute force method. This is my, this is my patented Pharaoh brute force methodology for solving puzzles. And it helps sometimes. Hey, this one's, this one's a little different. Someone picks up after a long silence, they speak with obvious impatience. Yes? Uh, yes, uh, this is Pharaoh. I'm looking for R.L. Stein. Another pause, longer this time. Never heard of him. He's an author, you explain. He wrote those Goosebumps books everyone likes? Everyone likes them, he asks. So they're good? You find them scary? The man on the other end of the line seems to know more about Goosebumps than he let on. They're the scariest! They, you lay it on thick. Hold, wait, on no, you lay it on. You lay it on. My my narrator voice and my voice. Are, you lay it on thick, hoping your hunch about that this number was correct. 
Oh, my favorite. Oh, um, but hold on. There's rustling on the other end. Someone here wants to talk to you. This is Arl Stein, Master of Horror. Says an identical sounding voice. Your Pharaoh, was it? It's definitely been Arl Stein the entire time. That's right. Uh, sorry, sir, but we don't have a lot of time. Slappy's here, and... Slappy? Why didn't you say so? He's serious. How do you get free? Never mind. Where are you? Uh, the town center in Galleria. You wonder if he'll need the address. I... Okay, good. Now listen. You hear a car door open and shot the other end. You must keep Slappy distracted. Do you understand? It's important. The car starts. Do whatever it takes to keep him busy. You can do this. After a beat, he adds, and I'll be there as soon as possible. Arlstein hangs up abruptly. The line goes dead. Really? Using the old brain juice. Find a way to call Arlstein without touching gross coins or a dirty phone receiver. Yay. Well? There must be another way to know, like, hey, call that particular number. I don't know how, but there you go. Ah, uh, alright guys, let's, uh... Now, we gotta keep him distracted. Now, be careful! There's gonna be another jump scare here. Give it a minute. <laughs> ah, okay, better. You looked it up, and there's there is an achievement if you make the call from a payphone. See, there, there that means there must be a way to stop the guard, and I don't know how. I'm so glad you can make it. What? Who are you? I'm not give you my name. I'm the kid who's gonna stop you once and for all. Oh well, <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. What's your plan? How are you going to stop me? Uh. Hammer at home. I called Arl Stein, and he's already on his way. You what? What did you tell him exactly? Everything. I told him what, what you had planned. I told him everything. Foolish child. You have no idea what I have planned. Really? Maybe passive. In the... And whose fault is that? I might have a better idea if you just told me. Huh. Fair enough. I've sent several messages he's sure to hear over television, radio, and my blog. Any one of them will lead, you, lead him here, where my monster pals are converging. Hmm. <laughs> Can I even guilt trip him? That's not right. He spends decades of his life creating all of you. And this is how you repay him? Look, he neglected me first. Neglected all of us. His books won him all new friends, and then he tossed us away like nothing. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. Maybe he doesn't really realize that. I'm sure if you talk this out reasonably, you can come to a, com a compromise. Oh, so that's your solution. Everybody hugs it out. Maybe a little quip? Uh, hugging it out is better than slugging it out, right? Huh. Get a new writer, kid. You're not as clever as you think. I am a little clumsy. Well, that is... Hmm. Is there anything you want to talk about? Blah, blah, blah. Well, this has gone on long enough, and I have impatient things to do. Important things to do. It's time to say goodnight. <laughs> Damn it. Slappy lunges towards you, determined to put your lights out. Oh, screw you, man. I'm gonna go down fighting. You stand your ground, bringing your arms forward, ready for an attack. You aren't sure how to fight an evil dummy, but what choice do you have? Just as Slappy reaches striking distance, a voice booms through the store and stops the puppet in his tracks. Not so fast. Voice acting? What? But how? Okay, that is not R.L. Stein. Who... Is this imposter? Wait a minute. Hold on. It, it, okay, wait, 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 wait. I think I just realized. Remember how I said, like, okay, there was a. This is Goosebumps game that came out in 2015. This is what it is. Is it based off the movie? 
Did I just realize that? I thought it was like just a Goosebumps game, period, but I guess it's based it's based off the movie. Is that supposed to be Jack Black? <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, this game's a prequel to the first movie? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, can't, I can't pull up a Jack Black. Pharaoh filled me in on your little plan. It's impressive, but unfortunately not impressive enough. Oh no, it's too early. Nothing's ready yet. You gotta give me a redo. You've done more than enough damage for one day, Slappy. It's time to go back in the book. No. You can't do this. You created me. Why do that just to hide me away? Like some mistake. I am not a mistake. My. <laughs> my God, what is this? You're like you act like he's possessed. Like, you know, like oh my God. My books were meant to entertain kids. That's what you monsters are for. The only mistake was letting you out into this world where you could hurt people. You'll regret this, Papa. Next time I won't be playing a game. Next time Slappy will be the puppet master. Shut up and get in my belly. Get in the book. Not the living dummy's night. Survive the game to completion. You're Earl Stein. I guess that's supposed to be me. The one and only? Thanks for distracting Slappy. Oh, you were listening? Oh, I had to make an entrance. Good writing's all about timing. And it's time we put these monsters away for good. Every story Alistine types comes to life, so he keeps them locked inside special manuscripts. But Slappy had gotten loose and released the rest of the monsters as well. We followed Mr. Stein around town as he trapped each monster inside the book they came from. It took most of the evening, but after he trapped the final ghoul, it was time to say goodbye. Thanks again for your help, but I must be going. My daughter and I need to reach Madison something or another. Daughter? Madison? Like in Delaware? Madison? I, I said nothing. Forget everything you heard. Time to go. Hey, Mom. Sorry it's so late. Chad and I were about to head home. Oh, you bet you were. You get back here this minute. Uh, we had the craziest day. You wouldn't believe... Save it. I don't want excuses. I want to know what on earth you do, did to the house. I mean, honestly, fair. I expect this kind of thing from Chad, but my goodness, I, everything's on the floor. You left the fridge open. I can't even talk, talk about upstairs. I'm so angry. Just wait until your father gets home. We're going to have a serious talk about video game privileges. No! My games. Wow, uh, yay! <laughs> In-game Pharaoh is so white. Well, I guess it's not really far off from how I am. I, I am pretty light complexion, but, eh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Goosebumps. That ended very abruptly. <laughs> you saved the town and got grounded. Yay. Why does it feel early 2000? I... I don't know what when this game took place. I, I, let's just assume it took, took place like 2015. Well, the, the, the year the game's released. But I don't know. Yeah, I, got, I still got to watch the Mario movie as well. Uh, yeah, Jack Black really... I know he did really well with Bowser. So... So, yeah, that was, uh, that was Goosebumps the game. Uh... It wasn't bad. It, it, it was a cute little point and click. Um, yeah, it definitely had moon logic. Not like terrible moon logic. I've seen a lot worse. If you guys ever played the freaking Broken Sword series, oof, that is the epitome of freaking moon logic in some of those games. Or even Deponia. When, it, when I LP Deponia, dear God. One of them is literally moon logic. I literally had to reach up for the moon. It was funny, but also dumb. But uh, yeah, that it it, it was good. Now the 
the complaint I have, absolutely, is the idea that I... I had so much crap in my inventory, like, so much, and, like, what what the hell was that about? <laughs> I thought I was gonna use every single thing? No, not at all. You need to watch three vods to catch up on everything that happened. It's alright, Super Twin. I'll, um... I'm gonna try, like, obviously condensing the vods to get cut out breaks and all that. So, this wasn't very long. It, I, I, it probably took me, like, what, a total of, like, five hours or so to get through, not even. Um, and it, like, But the thing is, too, like, now that I know what I'm doing, I'm sure I can, I can blaze through this game now if I so desire. So... Well, that, that was a little creepy. Was there another puppet in this game? Or, like, in Goosebumps I, I, that I'm not aware of? Hmm. You can't get over how abruptly this ended. It should have ended with a twist ending like the books. Oh, well, th well there we go. Th that, that's, that's your twist ending, right? <laughs> Mr. Wood? I have no idea. Y you're the Goosebumps uh, expert here. So, like, I'm, I'll take your word for it. Maybe it was Mr. Wood. So, yeah, Poe Girl, Moon Logic, it's basically the terminology to use where, in, especially in point-and-click games, where something is not really made known how to solve something. Um, I'm not sure where it originated from. You know, frankly, I mean, if I had to take a guess, it's probably from one of the old LucasArts, or like, excuse me, like, or Sierra games. Um, they were like, they were known for point and clicks, you know, like the King's Quest series, um, Space, Space, oh my god, what's his name? Space, was a Space Quest? They had a couple of quest games, they had like, they had like, King's Quest, Space Quest, Police Quest, I think? Um, who made the Monkey Island series? Was that LucasArts or was that Sierra? That might have been LucasArts. Uh, they, they made really good point-and-click games as well. And I, it's just like the logic, I think, is just isn't there to like, or it isn't obvious to um, how to solve something. So they call it moon logic. I don't know where it started from, I had to look that up. I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I it's 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 somewhere. I, one of the games like literally had to come up with. I just don't know what. Mister Wood is from the very first Night of the Living Dummy book, and it was the Evil Dummy, and that was the Evil Dummy, not Slappy. Oh, I thought it was always Slappy. Well, there you go. I'm gonna look it up really quick. Mister Wood, Goosebumps. Ew, he's kind of creepy looking. Ew, he's really creepy looking. Ew. Yeah, no, that 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 was Mr. Wood. Yep. Oh, holy crap, he does look familiar now. Oh, you know what? I thought Mr. Wood was Slappy. Oh, okay, no, no, I remember him from the TV show now. Okay, I'm gonna get nightmares, man. This thing's creepy ass looking. Mm -mm. Uh, okay, so Moon Logic. Ridiculously complicated puzzles that, despite giving you all the needed information, require hard to understand leaps of intuition to be solved. Thank you, Turtek. So, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say this game had, like, a lot of it. Because I solved things, you know, like, you know, it, it's there, but. Eh. I, I think it had a little bit. So every sequel since then has been slappy. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, that, that ladies and gentlemen, was Goosebumps. Um, yeah, I guess I was expecting a little bit more out of it. 
It, it, it was fine. I mean, I'm glad I played it. Like, if, if you're a fan of Goosebumps, I think you're going to really enjoy it. It was definitely a nostalgia thing for me. It, it, it's it's the, some of the... Some of the, like, puzzle solving was, like, a little, like, huh? Because I... I mean, you guys saw... I inadvertently solved a lot of those puzzles. You know? So... Before we end it for today, I want to take a look and see what other trophies were available. Is it going to be spoilerish? Maybe, but we beat the game, so there's there there is what it is. You thought there was going to be more to it too? I I did as well, but eh. good hair day. Place the magician's top hat on its rightful owner. Oh, I just realized some yeah that that freaking rabbit who who appeared. Well, at the storm drain. Oh, I was supposed to give him the thing? Oh, okay. Creep from the deep. Toss ten expendable items into a deep, dark hole. Oh, the hole that I jumped under, I jumped in, 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 the, in the actual pipe. Ah, okay. It came from the internet. Use the modern technology to give the second ghost child his heart's desire. Oh, that's right. Don't we have like an MP3 player on our phone? I guess I didn't even think about that. Okay. What else here? The monster who cried girl. Recreate a crime scene to get security off your scent. Oh my god, I just realized. I just realized the whole thing with the mannequins. We were supposed to recreate the shoplifter. Oh. Damn it. Well, wait, I thought I tried everything and all, all the mannequins and they didn't do anything. Maybe I had to put on the hat first, then the clothes, then the shoes. I think that's what it was. Yep. Okay, that's okay. It came from Ohio. That's the biography, right? Track down Arl Stein in a phone book and give him a call. D did I not? Did I not do that? <laughs> did I not do this? Um, maybe, maybe like I have to do it properly. Oh, okay. This one I have to use the phone book and have to use the, the the phone the, the actual phone booth or like the payphone. Okay. Oh, all right. Payphone only. Okay. Say cheese again. Take pictures of every monster possible using the haunted camera. So this one, it was a little... I didn't even think about it. I did on a few of them. But there you go. It's only nightmare. Complete the game without ever using the cell phone. I almost did. Well, no, I was looking around for, like, looking at the map and all that. I didn't really use a cell phone that much until having the car all, call R.L. Stein because I thought I had to use a cell phone. But there you go. Danger time. Complete the game after draining your phone to 10% battery. Which I guess we could have done if I let my phone die after I called him on my phone. But there you go. My friends call me Monster. Defeat Slappy while wearing the haunted mask. Whoops. Didn't know I could do that. Finish the game in 300 turns or fewer. Well, this doesn't seem hard, but it seems like you would definitely need to know every little thing you have to do to minimize the risk of like doing something incorrectly now but what the hell are you going to do about the 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 what's his name the guard I feel like that would mess things up hmm how I learned to fly finish the game oh wow this one's even worse Finish the game in 175 turns or fewer. Damn. Okay, yeah. A, there, I mean, yeah, I guess you can kind of say speedrun achievement. But it's more so like making the most effective route. 
or path routing you can make. Knights of the Giant Inventory. So I, I guess this is what I was supposed to do. Grab every item you possibly can. And I, I still missed items. Damn. I thought it was pretty pretty thorough. I wonder what the hell I missed. Damn it. Oh, well. Be careful what you wish for. I remember this book. Gather all possible items dropped from the laundry chute. There was more things from the laundry chute, huh? Damn. Okay. A shocker on Shock Street. Be proactive and start your laundry. I was wondering how I didn't know I didn't know what the hell to clean. You're not plant food. Um narrowly escape defeat by wearing a talisman into the woods? Talisman? Where the hell did I get a talisman at? Invaders from the big screen. Tell Aunt Delilah about your weekend plans. Oh, I guess I didn't do that. I made her go to sleep. And then Slappy's Nightmare? Discover Slappy's secret shame? Huh. So, I guess this game wouldn't be so hard to platinum. I mean, look at that. 8.6% have the platinum. That's that's actually quite a lot. Um, I'm, I'm sure if you follow a guide, this wouldn't be hard at all to platinum at all. So... The game goes by pretty quickly, too, so there's that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it only took me 10 days of, uh, into October, and I got I, I did two games. Now, granted, I'm not streaming every single day, and I'm only streaming like a few hours here and there, but um, okay, goosebumps the game. Not bad at all. You know, like a, it's a you know, fun little point and click. Definitely more so geared to people who love the Goosebumps series. Uh, absolutely. I don't know if I recommend it to anyone out, outside of it, per se. I played it because I have a huge nostalgia for it. I loved Goosebumps when I, when I was growing up. I loved the books. I loved the TV show. So um, I'm going to see what how the, I'm going to see if I can watch the uh, the TV show uh, somewhere. It, it might be streaming like on one of the services. Maybe it's on YouTube. Who the hell knows? Um, so yeah you went back and saw what you did with uh, the cuckoo clock of doom from last time and the camera that you used was the camera from say cheese and die which is why I gave you the hint to get rid of the year 1988 the year that Tara was born okay so that means the game takes place 35 wait 35 years is that correct Um, my brain hurts. Um, what's next? Oh, and I, I got a couple games I have planned out. You like the platinum? What, what was the platinum called again? You Can't Scare Me. That's Goosebumps book number 15. That's cool.